What's up, YouTube? This is the drive after uh, fixing uh, the water pump. I've been driving around, uh, haven't seen a leak or anything uh, thus far. I did have to uh, get one more bottle of coolant just to uh, make sure it was uh, filled all the way to the top because I was getting a uh, coolant light, but I'm not getting that no more. Uh, I know when I make a stop, I'm gonna recheck. Uh, we do have an issue with the coolant tip, which is not reading, it's staying at 40, which I know is very inaccurate after driving for a uh, good period of time. As you can see, we got Christmas tree lights, and as you can see, look at my temp uh, gauge or whatever. But I already read the code off the computer that I have, and it was uh, indicating the coolant temp sensor uh, fault. So I'm going around auto part stores, seeing if they got it in stock. And there's towns that got it, but it's like 40, 50 minutes away. But I'm already going to one. It's like 40 something minutes. I checked all the auto parts auto parts stores uh, in my town and I went to the next town over that got all the stores and auto parts store, uh, stores and all that they don't have they don't have nothing like never have nothing but this one is going to be 45 minutes or so from this location that I'm, I'm almost there got like 15 64 minutes so I'm really excited uh, to get this change hopefully clear the code and see like what's my actual uh, temp. And I like the new uh, water pump, uh, how it came with two gaskets, I guess. From factory, it only came with one gasket. I'm guessing that gasket just got worn out. So we have two barriers of uh, protection, and which is pretty damn cool. So I can't even complain or anything about it. Uh, I did put on um, some, what did I put? What did I put? I put gasket marker for like extra reassurance. So, yeah, but the car is driving good. Feeling good. Can't complain. So, this year, we had conductor plate broke. And then we had a uh, coolant pump go out. That's when went out, it was just leaking. It was the seal around it was going out. But then when I did uh took it apart and then spent it, you can kind of hear it. Um like it's like sharp compared to the, the new one. And I also had got me a new uh windshield wiper for the car and it looked ten times better. Wipe ten times better, but yeah. So man, if you got anything on your car, man, go after it, do the test. I was all in the rain, I got soaking wet, I was so determined. Like I said, I, uh, I could've got this thing done like two hours or an hour, depending. But hey, things happen. Um, it's raining. I'm just, very thankful driving this car, man. Feels good to make sure uh, we don't got no air uh, pockets or anything in the system. Make sure that was cleared out. Um, and that is pretty much it. No air bubbles. Um, Cooling topped off. So, yeah. so, guys, we have a new sensor right here. That's all I needed. The other one had broke. And to remove the other one, um, we need to remove this clip right here. Yeah, be very careful. I wonder if it can slide now. <clears throat> be very careful when y'all do this. I could just pull it out just like that. Yeah, I don't think so.
All right, guys, so we got the old one out and we got the new one. Uh, be a little coolant going to come out. So be very careful. Be quick when you do it. A little coolant going to come out. Oh, it ain't nothing too crazy. But that coolant, that we don't got no leaks, though, except for when I pull that up. But other than that, everything looked pretty dry and all. So let's try to get this clip back in. Okay, guys, that took long enough, but I got it. Compared to the old one and the new one, this one had a gasket on there. I, uh, well, a seal. I could have probably took the seal off and just put it in there. But the clip is on there. It's got it in place. It's already plugged, but yeah. <clears throat> so now what we need to do is clear the code uh, from the computer. This is the part number four. Look at all the trash I got. I just got done eating some chicks later. And then look at all the bottles and stuff. Anyway, what we want to do, we want to clear this cold. can see engine coolant sensor so it had broke on me so anyway we got a new one so we're going to just erase the codes or see if that's going to do it and then we're going to just go from there it might reset by itself though unless i might have to disconnect the battery i'm not sure they say, but the vehicle still has fault code. Please check vehicle to do it again. Hmm. So, guys, we do not have luck with my scanner. I might have to look at some type of another scanner or a dealership. I don't know. I might do that another time, later time. get that uh cold clear because this seemed like once anytime anything that break on this car the cold gonna be uh stored and if you don't got anything like you know to take it off then yeah it ain't it's gonna be being malfunction but i ain't getting no uh check engine light yet so uh the new sensor in um like i said it ain't registering uh, on here. All right, guys, so far, so good. We haven't got the engine light, so we can confirm that, you know, the sensor is plugged in, but uh, I guess electronically in the system, it still have a fault. If we could clear that, then we could get a temperature reading. And I thought about this because I looked at a form. Somebody saying that the uh, old temp sensor had an old gasket. Uh, I probably should have got me a little pick to try to pick. But, I mean, it's straight anyway. Um, double the coverage, you know what I mean? But, hey, it is what it is. Car driving good, though, like it's uh, supposed to or whatever. Still be getting on ABS and BAS. Like, I got to figure that out. Uh, sometime but if i do take this to like a dealer then i let them sort that out um or i might just ask the facebook uh group w210 ask them like what computer i need to like keep like uh, basic codes but it's called real fun like I said, we don't have no leaks. So it's uh, real good and all that. should have filled my tank all the way up <clears throat> just sometimes i always fill my tank up halfway or sometimes i fill up uh all the way to full 
Sometimes I don't like sitting at a gas station so long. I like getting up and out. But then, I don't know. Then I have to stop again. But this car get on gas. Anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed that video. If y'all know any type of computer I need for my Mercedes, let me know in the comments. Or DM me on Instagram. I don't be checking my DMs, like, rather, like, personal or the ATV or garage or, I mean, or the car page. I never check my DMs like that. Like, I just be on there to post and get back off. If I'm on there, I see something funny, but I'm going to end up posting stuff. So, that's, that's the I be on social. But, um, I see y'all. about to enjoy this drive with this W210. But I should clean it up. I might clean it up. I don't know. We'll see. Christmas tree lights, Christmas tree lights, nah, it's something simple.